He kind of looks like he'll steal your money, so I don't know if you want to do that. At 40 years old, you're at 40 years old? Jeremy is the oldest contestant <laughs> contestant ever to come on The Bachelor. And his favorite thing about Claire, well, it ain't Claire no more, is that she talks to raccoons. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I wanted to do a first impressions on the guys from the Bachelorette lineup, especially because I don't want to spend the first video like dissecting every guy that walks out of the limo, you know? So this is good that they've let out the list and I'm going to go through them one by one and see what our first thoughts are. So first we have AJ, who is a software salesman from California. Well, I think for Tasia, she would be interested, but I don't know. All I'm gonna say is he does look like a software salesman and you can take that for what it is. And then we have Ben, who is an Army Ranger veteran from California. He's okay, he looks okay. It would have to be a personality thing from your girl. But yeah, he looks all right. He looks all right. Next, we have Bennett, who is a wealth management consultant from New York. <sighs> all these men just look. <laughs> but of the three so far, I feel like he's the better looking one. So... Yeah, I think that he looks very, I'm ready to settle down. I've done my younger days thing, like this is my time. Um, but also he looks like he could break your heart. I don't know, he kind of looks like a player a little bit. I might be reading into it, who knows. Next we have Blair Moner, okay. Who is a male grooming specialist from Arizona. A male grooming specialist from Arizona, and this is the picture. I feel like for the career, and the picture that I see, it's, it's not making sense. It's not, it's, mm, no. Uh, mm, he loves pancakes. Yeah, you look like you love pancakes. Up next is Blair Moynez, a wildlife manager from Canada. Okay. Okay, Canada, we on the map, we on the map. But the thing is, the Canadians always do us dirty. That last Canadian guy, the pasty, pasty guy, um, I'll try to see if I can get a clip with him because, oh my gosh, he did us so dirty. If this was based solely on looks, there's a good chance I'd still be here. My body, I have nothing to do with this because obviously she doesn't care about that because she's picked guys like Evan and Wells, you know? These guys aren't on my level, bottom line. No one's on my level. I know I'm a great catch. I was like, Kind of what? Mm -mm. I, I, I don't know him. I'm not from there. No. But this guy looks a little more nice, a little more pleasant. He looks cute. I'll give him that. You know, if you spruce up the hair a little bit, the hair is kind of, hair is kind of weird. Uh, yeah. What does his bio say? His dream woman has to have a goofy side and be okay with his self-described potty mouth. Oh. Oh no. He loves Ninja Turtles as much as... I take all my praise back. Next is Brandon, a real estate agent from Ohio. Brandon so far has been the most attractive. Brandon looks like he could break your back and you wouldn't be bad. Like he... Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Brandon. He looks cute. He almost gives me... Who's the guy that Rachel Lindsay chose as her husband? They're married now. I really did not care for that season because I still feel like she should have gone with Peter. Story for another day. What does he say here? 
Italian stallion who has a phobia of dancing. He looks Italian. I could see that. Like, I definitely sense, like, a, 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 an ethnic vibe. Nope, nope. Cancel it. Yelena going to get canceled. I'm not saying anything else. All right. Next is Brendan, a commercial roofer from Massachusetts. Brendan looks, Brendan looks cute. I like the curly hair. He kind of looks mixed with something. I can't tell with what. He doesn't look white. Just white. Maybe he is. Is he Latino? I don't know. Brendan's buddies from home call him B Money. And his signature look is a turtleneck. Ooh, he looks like he would be fine in a turtleneck. Oh, ooh. I could see that. But yeah, no, I can't tell where he's from. But he, yeah. He he would spark my interest for sure if I was um whatever the girl's name is. Next we have Chasen, who is an IT accountant executive from California. Chasen looks like a frat boy. He does. He looks like he's not ready for nothing. I wish they put their ages along too because he looks young. I would honestly say 24, 25. Next is Chris, who is a landscape design salesman from Utah. Is he Asian? Is Chris Asian, y'all? I can't tell, but if he's Asian, Props for representation, come on now. Uh, yeah, I think he is Asian, girl, you tripping. He's Asian. I'm I'm not mad at him, it's gonna have to take time. Ooh, he likes electric scooters, we're friends. I love electric scooters too. All right, the verdict is out on Chris. Next is Dale, who is a, he looks so familiar. A former pro football wide receiver from South Dakota. But I don't watch football, but for some reason he looks very familiar. That's interesting. Dale is super competitive and his favorite game is Hungry Hungry Hippos. Are these men in high school? Ninja Turtles? Hungry Hippos? What is going on? What? Are they trying to be like cute and funny? Because if you tell me your favorite game is Hungry Hungry Hippos, I'm... Okay, anyways. Next is Dem Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Get it together, you're like, ooh, yeah. Next is Damar, a spin cycling instructor from Arizona. That's what y'all do in Arizona? Girl, let me catch a play. Hold on. Tomorrow's dream job is to be a DJ on the Las Vegas Strip, okay? He writes poetry in his spare time, but he wouldn't consider himself a poet by any means. We love an honest king. We love an honest king, okay. Damar, Damar, even the name Damar. How old are you, Damar? If the show doesn't work out. <laughs> Hi. Next we have Easy, who is a sports marketing agent from California. Okay. Easy has seen every episode of Grey's Anatomy. Okay, you might have won me over with that one. Yeah, looks wise, I'm not like super drawn, but yeah, he's cute, you know, he's got hair. It needs to be moisturized a little bit, but it's okay. He's got the beard, he has nice teeth. And it looks like he has really good skin too. And he loves Grey's Anatomy, my kind of guy. Now we have Ed. A healthcare salesman from Florida. He looks like he'll sell you some healthcare. He looks like big pharma. Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. Garen, a professor of journalism from California. These people really look like their professions. They really do. Mm -hmm. I could see mm -hmm. who is calling me right now. Mm -hmm. Vanilla bean wrap with caramel syrup. Small vanilla bean wrap with caramel syrup. Crap, but yes. All right, back to the task at hand. Ivan. Ivan is an aeronautical engineer. An aeronautical engineer. That makes me think it has to deal with planes or some kind of... Hmm. Ivan is a recovered croc in the... Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. what? Yeah, so Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. Ivan, I don't know if it's the picture, but you look like you, oh my gosh, I was about to say something mean and it has to do with Ice Age. Oh my gosh, you lame, that's so mean. I was gonna say though, he looks 
kind of scared. I don't know. He looks like he, he's going to get devoured by the process. Yeah, I don't see you. I don't see you last. And Croc Enthusiast? Shh, please. Jason is a former pro football. Okay, another one. Pro football lineman from Virginia. Jason. For some reason, I feel like the girl is going to like Jason. Although, aesthetically, I... Aesthetically, aesthetically. Ooh, who's Jay? Oh, Jay looks like a little cute, little. Jay is a fitness director from Flor. Fitness director. <laughs> Pause. Uh, oh, he loves drama. Jay says, growing up, <laughs> he spent way too much of his allowance on clothes and Abercrombie and Fitch. Fitch. Like, oh. Aw, aw, that's all I could say. Aw, so cute. Jeremy is a banker from Washington, D.C. He kind of looks like he'll steal your money, so I don't know if you want to do that. At 40 years old, Jer at 40 years old, Jeremy is the oldest contestant, <laughs> contestant ever to come on The Bachelor. And his favorite thing about Claire, well, it ain't Claire no more, is that she talks to raccoons. Okay, um, Joe, another Asian! Come on, representation. Come on in here. I would love to see a Middle Eastern person. I don't know if I missed that. Maybe that was the J guy. I don't know. I'm not sure. But Joe is an anesthesiologist from New York. Mmm. Yes. Joe is an accomplished anesthesi anesthesiologist and COVID-19 survived. <laughs> nah, big ups to you, my guy. It's, it's, it's been taking people out. Survivor. And spent most of 2020 fighting the coronavirus on the front lines in New York City. Ooh! We love the primary caregivers. Yes, yes, yes. Essential workers. Essential workers. An account executive from New York. He's cute. Don't get me wrong. A lot of the nerds in school were cute. Don't get it twisted. Y'all was sleeping. But yeah, I don't know. He just kind of looks like he wouldn't really take charge. He wouldn't know how to pursue. He would more so just kind of like give puppy dog vibes. I might be tripping, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Then we have Jordan M., who is a cybersecurity engineer from California. Cybersecurity. Interesting. Hmm. Jordan M's favorite Sunday activity is cleaning. He loves writing poetry and competing in hacking competitions. Kenny, a boy band man, a boy band manager. You know what? A boy band, ma okay, you know what? A buck is a buck. A buck is a buck. Kenny hates cheese. Nope, a buck is not a buck. I'm judging you again. How do you hate cheese? It's cheese. I'm borderline lactose intolerant and I will still yam some cheese. Mike is a digital media advisor from Canada. Canada on the map. Canada on the map. Hey, Canada on the map. Uh -uh. Yeah, he looks better than the last Canadian as well. The last. Not the Canadian, this was the last one that I remember. Okay, I have hope for you, Mike. Mike is a proud, lifelong member of Shania Twain fan club. Also, he refuses to acknowledge the season eight of Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you lost me at Shania Twain. I had so much hope, but then again, you're Canadian, so I get it. All right, Paige is a chef from Texas. Mm, okay. She's got the pedal stash, but I feel like we could work around that. It's okay. Paige cannot relate to people who love football. Neither can I, Paige. Neither can I. And I sang for a whole football league. And I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Riley is an attorney from New York. He looks like he will get your affairs in order. He does. Riley knows all the lyrics to Call Me Maybe. Now, this is a joke. This has to be a joke. 
isn't the show projected to like women in their 20s to like mid 50s the stuff they're naming is not intriguing in the slightest and I'm at the bottom tier of that age range How? call me maybe that's your pitch Bobby is an insurance broker from Florida. Oh my gosh, I worked in insurance. Absolutely hated every single day working there. Robbie's move when he is into women is to walk up to her casually and say, hey, also, Robbie hates iced tea. <sighs> Tyler C. is a lawyer, a lawyer, why can't I say lawyer? Is a lawyer from West Virginia. Now nah, he looks like he'll do you dirty in the courtroom. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, skeptical. Tyler S. is a music manager from Texas, okay. Tyler says he's single because it's hard to date while touring and he's not attracted to fangirls or groupies. Okay, okay. I don't really have much to say on Tyler. He just kind of looks like there. He's just there. Yosef is a medical device salesman from Alabama. A Yosef from Alabama, interesting. As a kid, Yosef loved his Velcro sneakers as he was once catfished on a dating app. And he was one, oh, I thought the two were related. And he was once catfished on a dating app. Zach is an addiction, addiction specialist from New Jersey. I'm not mad at Zach. Zach is kind of, Zach's kind of cute with the devil. Zach loves desserts, okay, check. But if there's a fruit on his plate, he's not eating it. Mm, you lost me. I love fruit. Freaking love fruit. And lastly, whew, that was a long list, y'all. Um, who was his name? Zach J, a cleaning service owner from Utah. Honestly, of all the white men, the people who I perceived as white, because that one guy, I'm not sure. He's the cutest. He, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Zach J is obsessed with gum and chapstick. Okay, moisturized lips and, and good breath. And once broke his nose walking into a glass door. I've walked in so many glass doors. You know what? Your nose doesn't even look like it's been affected. So if your surgeon is fantastic. Hmm. Those are the bios. You know, some of them I'm very skeptical of. Very skeptical. Uh, however, I'm excited. I'm excited to see who... Um, well, first of all, I have to see what happened with Claire. Why she started it and then didn't finish. I'm trying to go in to remember the new girl's name because I forget. Tasia, yes. I like Tasia. I feel like I'll enjoy watching her more than I enjoyed Rachel Lindsay, no offense. The only reason why I didn't like Rachel Lindsay though was because when she chose not to go with Peter, I was like, because he doesn't want to marry you right away out of the show, like you've only known each other for two months. Like that's a rational decision. So, yeah, I was confused about all of that. However, we'll see how this goes. Tuesday, October 13th. My heart's pounding. You want clarity. I'm so falling in love with you. We caught you in a lie. You want us to clarify. I'm not done yet. You are done. Get out of here. You want clarification. You just don't know when it's going to happen. But you don't have top secret clearance. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Congratulations, you've just blown up The Bachelor. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to be watching with you guys. I think I'm going to do the whole watch the finale with you guys together again. That was really fun. I actually really, really loved that. That was dope. Uh, we'll see how the season goes. Um, all the best to Tasia, though. It seems like she's in love based off what I've been seeing on social media. So hopefully this time is the charm.